This time we're going to discuss about loops in PHP. Loops are used in to execute the same block of code several number of times as specified. Now there are different types of loops in PHP, whereas we have the for loop, the for each loop, the while loop, and the do while loop. You will learn all about the above mentioned loops in detail divided in a separate tutorial. For now, I'm going to give you an example of a loop. So let's start coding and I'll start with the HTML tag. And then this time I will be using loop loop example. Example. For this situation, I will be using a for loop. So what we can do is that I'll start from the tag for I'm sorry the, the code. We're starting code for the PHP. And then as of now, I'll be using this one of them is the for loop. Now for loop is of course created into three areas. So the first one is that we need to to have an initialization. The second one will be the condition, and the last will be on the incrementation. For this example, I'm going to set a variable. I'm going to initialize my a incrementation. For this example, I'm going to set a variable. I'm going to initialize my a will be equivalent to zero, followed by a semicolon, and then I'll set this one a will be equivalent to or let's just say less than ten. Okay. Now at this rate, what I'm doing right now is that I already set the condition. First, you need to initialize. This is now the initialization. The second one will be, will be on the condition. And the last one will be on the incrementation. How will your variable behave inside the loop? For this example, I'll set A into an incremental value. So what will happen here is that it will increase to 1 every now and then. Let's just say I have here the starting point and I'm going to set an echo. So what I'm going to print here is that I will print out the, of course, the value of A, which is dollar sign followed by the name of the variable, semicolon, and then I am going to set a separator. Um, I will be using VR, so please take note, VR is used to go or break to a different line, and then once we run this one, we'll have a, an output. So I'm going to save this one inside my local DC, where, in, where my WAMP server is located, and make sure that you need to locate it properly or store it properly according to the address. So I'm going to my WAMP, and then look for the W, and uh, this rate, I'll be saving here, let's say loop example, and then save. Open your browser and then we'll type in localhost followed by the name which is the loop example dot php. So make sure that the file is saved as php, otherwise you won't be able to uh, search your file. So at this rate, if we are going to analyze the output, we have start we have the starting point of zero going to the number of nine. If we are going to analyze the code, what we did here is that we initialize the uh, variable a to start from zero, and then we are going to look for the possible condition that we want to check. On this situation, a will be less than 10, which is true. Now, if this condition will always have an output of true, what will happen here is that it will increase the value by one. So the possible output here is 0, 1, 2, 3, until such time you will have the number 9. Now it did not print out 10, it's because 10 is no longer less than 10, but rather it is equal to 10. So this is just a simple example of a loop. 